Hey guys, this is J19 brought to you in our video, and uh, today's video is going to be the one I told you guys about in last night's, not last night's stream, but in uh, a video ago, so I'll go in my live stream. Um, anyways, uh, today's video is going to be about changes I would like to see in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, um, what things I liked and didn't like about Part 1 that they can make better for, you know, keep for Part 2, and change for part two so with that said if you guys enjoy this video please uh like subscribe hit the bell notification and the, and the uh, so you st guys can stay uh updated when i go live when i upload my next video like stuff like this um if you like this content stuff of this nature please uh give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and uh all right first thing i want to uh first thing i want to say i really enjoy the combat the story the Music is um, unbelievable, especially uh, with my review ch review of the game. Um, and I really like that. Uh, some things is I didn't really care for the aerial the aerial combat. Um, material load also a little stingy, like especially like the different materials that they give you. There is a lot of them are neat, but it's it's just missing missing different variety. I don't know if how, what you guys feel about that, but. Anyways, uh, a few changes I would like to see is maybe improve aerial combat. Um, also make it where the material loadout, like we get different varieties of materials in game two. Um, and I noticed that in part one, materials are really super easy to level up other than revival. Um, that was, took so long to up, up, uh, upgrade, level up. So, yeah, I like to see materials... You know, I like to see more grinding with uh, material level and stuff like that. Um, another thing I didn't really really like about part one was there's a lot of areas where you go to travel, exploration, exploration. You go to travel and just like, oh, there's something, looks like something over here is a big area. Let's go investigate. And then you go over there, there's nothing there. Or you find boxes. You hit the boxes, sometimes they give you stuff. And a lot of times they don't. So it's like hit and miss on those. And then, the areas you don't think it has a treasure chest, it has it. So it's like a hit and miss on that. What I like to see in game two as well is see expiration reward you for your uh, due, uh, due diligence of you know, exploring, you know, grinding, leveling up your characters. Um, I would, you know, with the materials, make the materials a lot more fun. For combinations, I know combinations in part one was good, but I think they can also improve upon that. Exploration with, you know, especially like enemies, like, like uh, there's a section in uh, in the game where you're in this uh, sector, sector five. Um, you know, if you guys don't, uh, I'm not gonna spoil the game, but I'm just gonna say like uh, town names. But uh, sector five, in sector five, there's not like uh, any like. Any, hardly any enemies, like, maybe, like, group of, like, me. I think this might be, like, four groups of enemies. And, uh, and I don't, sorry about the dogs barking. Um, and I apologize for that. But, uh, anyways, I lost my train of thought. About the enemies, I would like to have where you have more open areas to grind, to level up, to fight, to, you know, fight and stuff like that, love up characters, grind, um, instead of paying 100 gil or 300 gil for, you know, the, the simulator, the VR, and then the Calcia, which, don't get me wrong, those are awesome, I, I'm glad they put that in the remake, that was awesome, but, I, I still think mm -hmm. they can prove mm -hmm. upon it, dang it, oh, anyways, yeah, sorry about the message pop up, Anyways, I hope you guys uh, I hope you guys agree with me. I don't know what you think about the exploration, the battling, um, material loadout, like varieties of materials. Um, I would like. I also have my expectations for game number two or part two, whatever you want to call it, is a lot higher than part one. Part one, I was hyped. I was, ex you know, my ex expert expectation expectations were very high, but it's even higher now for part two. What they done in part one, they can approve upon it and make it better for part two. And uh, 
that's what I like to see. So, anyways, uh, that story, you know, story around the unknown journey. Um, we know know exactly how everything is gonna pan out. I'm excited about that. It feels it makes me like I'm playing Final Fantasy VII all over again, like it was eight years old at 19, 1997. So, anyways, uh, the air combat exploration. More enemies and like areas that you you think to be enemies. Um, be rewarded for when you do exploration. Exploration. Um, more like dungeons and like uh, you know different areas you can go to. Um, I know part one was Midgar only. It was you know it was really linear, which is which is understandable. Uh, if you play the original, the original game Midgar was very very uh linear which is understandable so they went with that route but game two just like final fantasy 7 it opens up you get the world of gaia and you're and you're going you're, you're moving on with your uh your main quest and you got i don't like to see more uh better on that note a lot better side quest some of the side quests i've done and remake were fine it's understandable as a JRGP. Um, but I think that, you know, instead of looking for cats, instead of, oh, I need you to go, can you go find this item for me or, you know, stuff like that. Um, I would like to see, like, more, like, character development, more, like, if you do the side quest, like, it really gets things really popped up, you know, like, with the story, the plot, and stuff like that, like, extra, extra side story. Of characters and uh, part one was a good start part two I think and game number two I think they can do a lot better with the side quest make it kind of like Ghost of Tsushima I'm not a big fan of that game but the side quest in that game was awesome so I would like to see like Final Fantasy 7 remake you know Square Enix go that route a little bit with like character you know character development with side quests make side quests a lot more enjoyable not like I'll oh, just go over here and, and find my cats or you know, or find lost kids, which are understandable, which is fine. And then, like, I like to see like more towns. I um, like to see like I want to see like, especially for the world, changes. Like, I don't want it very linear. I want like kind of if they're gonna go a linear route, linear. Uh, I hope they go with like a wide like zones, like Final Fantasy Twelve. I mentioned in Final Fantasy Twelve playthrough. Um, I can see something like that. That'll make exploration exploration a lot a lot better, and and you get awarded for it, and you enjoy the game, and you you go about your business, and uh, you know let's let's find some like uh, you know if you say let's say you don't do you don't do a certain side quest or you don't go off an off beat, beaten path, you know path, and then you know you miss out on an incredible armor or incredible weapon it's like man i, I miss how they miss this what is this weapon at then you go back through you, you you know doubly explore or you know, explore even more you find you find those hidden items that's what i like to see or, or even like enemies you never fought before it's like there's certain enemies only in this air location because if you go off the unbeaten path you fight it you fight it and you get water for it that's what i like to see so with the aerial combat um, another thing I like about the combat that I'd want changes of, I, I love it completely, but I think during, like, boss battles, or even, like, not boss battles, just regular battles in general, like, when you have a limit break, and you don't really need to use it, it should just stay there for next time. Not just, oh, let's, let's, let's deplete it back to, back to start. Um, I like to see that where it stays there, like in the original game. And, uh, yeah, I think I think that's it. Mostly just the exploration, you know, be awarded for having more enemies to fight for like when you grind and level up your characters. Um side quest needs to be better. Um you know, and, and make it make it more uh, wide open. You know, not open world like fifteen. Fifteen was too big. Um it was it felt it felt like it was too long to get from eight point A to point B. But just make it where it's like even like twelve have zones, you know, like open zones. They explore, you have fun, you fight a whole bunch of enemies, and uh, and then you move on. Like each each area is gonna have you know certain side quests that you can do at certain chapters, 
And uh, I would like something like that. You know, make the side quest better. You know, fight certain enemies. You know, dis decent enemies. Uh, keep keep the boss battles. The way you got the boss battles is absolutely perfect. Other than maybe when they go off to, like different phases, maybe like when you hit, you know, when you keep attacking them, and they're supposed to go like a different phase. You know, keep it where it don't, you know, it does damage to them still yet, and uh, the stuff of that nature. So uh, yeah, that's why I like to see. Um, if you guys uh, have anything you want to comment about it, uh, comment down below what you want to see changes or what you want them to stay the same. Um, let me know in the comments below. I think the summoning system works well. Um, I've not had any issues with that. Other than, oh, another thing I don't like too, I wish they changed, is when you're trying to do an attack, like magic. Let's say you get knocked back, but it still does it. Like, you're not, like, you know you're going to lose the ability of doing magic and costing MP because you got knocked over. If you get knocked over, you should be able to get back up and carry out the, that command. That's the only thing I wish they changed to. The summon summoning system's fine. It works out. Um and I think that you know you should be able to equip more than one per character. I hope they change that. So, anyways. Anyways, guys, I hope uh hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry about that little noise in the background. That's my mom hollering. That's a little bell system. But anyways, you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. Enjoy this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. If you don't, hit the bell notification. If you are new to the channel, stay notified when I go live or upload my next video. With that said, you guys take it easy out there. I'll catch you all on the next one.